And we are back with another edition of Monday Night Dynamite. I am the Jam Song. With me, as always, is my broadcast partner, Brock Red. How are you doing tonight, Brock? Uh, sir, always, always happy to be here. Um, we have a lot to uh, discuss real quick about what happened last week. A lot of stuff has um, led up to uh, tonight. Um, uh, the only one I really, really, really want to discuss is the upset of uh, last week. Anna J taking home the Battle Royale to uh, take on Deeb. Um, how Indeed. big of a threat is she to uh, a Deeb? How big of a threat is she to Deeb? Well, I think she could be quite the threat to Deeb. I mean, she's got a bigger size advantage. She's been working with the Dark Order, so who knows what kind of tips or tricks she's gotten from that motley crew. Uh, mm-hmm. And I think she'll be bringing all those skills to bear. Damn. Now, so when I, when I talk about last the week, the one thing I have to man- mention is the tag uh, the tag uh, teams uh, of Varsity Blondes finally defeating Top Flight. Top yep. Flight. And now we'll be facing less sex gods in the main event tonight. Uh, also tonight, we're going to be seeing, uh, well, this match that I'll talk about in a second. But the more important one for me is uh, Britt Baker's rematch against Serena Deeb. Uh, oh, I yeah. believe it's going to be a ladder match, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so wow. it'll be interesting to see who can come away with that title. Because we know that, uh, that uh, Britt lost a tables match uh, to... Uh, uh, to Deeb, how will how will they fare in a ladder match? Right. Awesome. So a lot of stuff is about to happen. Indeed, man. And uh, up first, we're going to see the Dark Order's uh, Stu Grayson going one-on-one against MJF. Again, the graphics guys. I don't know why they threw one of the Dark Order's guys with MJF when it should be Wardlow. But, you know, cheap labor. And it's hard to fire people in this market. Yeah, seriously. Um, but speaking of, uh, of, uh, MJF and, and, and his team, um, MJF really, yes, the pinnacle, he hasn't really been active as of recently, has he? Well, yes, I mean, he lost to Chris Jericho, that's right, he did, he did. Right he before the pay-per-view, Jericho. yeah. Yes. And previous to that, he was the TNT champion, uh, until, until... Sammy took it away from him. Yes. And LaSex Gallons, they're doing well for themselves. Yep. I mean, we haven't really seen Dark Order much at all. I think this is the first Dark Order match at least this year, but I think even last year. I don't think we even saw any of the Dark Order come out. Not that I can remember. I mean, other than Brody Lee, but... Yep, yep. And, 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 of course, every time we bring up his name, I have to mention that, um... Starting this year until further notice, whenever we do a Royal Rumble, it will always be a Brody Lee Battle Royale Memorial. So I can't wait to see what that's going to be. Exactly. What kind of superstars we're going to be seeing going against 30 other superstars for that opportunity? Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, of course, that will be held on your channel, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be okay. one of our, our, our mixed pay-per-views. So it'll be 15, uh, 15 superstars from each show mm-hmm. going toe-to-toe, and the winner of that goes after the title of their choice. Uh, could be on any show. Correct. So, I mean, if one of our AEW boys decides they can go after your World Heavyweight Championship and bring it we'll to AEW... We'll see! <laughs> we'll see! We'll see. Or maybe Paul might just uh, grab... grip. Grab it for the second year in a row. We'll see. Yeah, and we'll go for see. another tag title. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. What's the brother? He was smart. He cashed in, and they walked home the titles. Oh, and another big thing to mention from uh, from the pay per view uh, that the we still have yet to see him come and claim it. Uh, Jungle Boy won that casino uh, ladder match. Yeah, got yes. got that briefcase, so he can challenge for any title at any time as well. Correct, correct. Now, of course, you know he never would step foot in Veloster Pits because you know Velocity is the A show. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Only last week, man, when the uh, commentator <laughs> from AEW showed up uh, to Whoa. to cover for the King, uh, where we crowned a new King as well, King Barrett. Yes, returning sir. to yes, action, uh, giving him back a crown and the title that he so justly deserves. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, it's too early. Definitely, yep. especially for, for an opponent such as MJF. Yes. Are they on the corner? Boom! Cracking Avalanche. them right across the dome. dome. Oh! Oh! Slice bread! Slice bread from Stu Grayson on MJF, taking him to the canvas again. I'm going to go for another cover. Yep. Two count at most. Yep. Yep. Just barely a two count. Still yep. a lot of gas left in MGF's tank. That's the thing about this sport is a is a quick two count. We know the match is far from done, but a late two count, we go, okay, he's close to being done. No matter what time the match starts or ends, the two count's the biggest thing in the wrestling match. Oh, yeah. Crowd chanting, this is awesome. Um, no, I think she's saying this is, I think they're saying this is SmackDown, and no, that's actually tomorrow night. Let's uh, see, it's, it's, this is AEW, some, <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, they spelled awesome wrong, AEW. Oh, <laughs> uh, awesome, except we're not SmackDown. Well, awesome yeah. because we're not SmackDown, really. <laughs> No, I think that's what A, what AEW stands for. Awesome, except we're not SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, you're missing a few letters for that one, my a friend. A little, a little. Reaching they're, for it. Reaching they're, for it. They're in the fine print. They're in the fine print. The letters are in the fine print. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> awesome, except we're not Velocity. <laughs> the V show, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh snap not the F show it's the V show it's oh, the that. V okay. show it's so far down the alphabet no one gives a shit <laughs> oh shit oh nice uh, late now two. MJF going for the cover oh only a one Ooh, count Grayson one barely count. took any damage so far yep I think Wardlow is look, look looking on like he's not impressed Well, I mean, I oh, have to say, go. myself personally, I'm not super impressed so far with MGF. Oh, shit. Oh, and nice. that could change. Slapping his head down those uh, those uh, cords. That's how you knock yourself out like Enzo like uh, like Enzo did when he was th thrown outside in his head. Nice! That's oh, yeah, because those, those ropes, I don't know if you've ever been around a wrestling ring, but that's like steel. That's wrapped steel. Those those aren't really ropes. You know, it's, that's it's tape that's heard, around yeah. wire. <laughs> that's Yes. Oh, they're so close together. Nice. That's the second time he's done that. There you go. Like I said, Grayson's had a, a year oh. of saving up his strength, but oh, MGF, quick counter to that one. Boom! Kicks him off. Nice. Pick him up. Oh, oh, hey, looks hey, like hey, the rest hey, of the uh, Dark hey. Order coming to, hey. to get great. in the way, it looked like. And Warlow did nothing? No. Oh! I guess that ref oh. was distracted. Come on, ref. Two <laughs> eye pokes and a kick to the nuts? What the f Damn. Oh, that's Should've what bridged you get it. when you watch... That's <laughs> what you get when you're on uh, AEW. All that illegalness, brother. Uh, that's another off. one of Dylan's plants, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Dylan's working with MJF in the pinnacle. Oh, one cow. Wouldn't They're surprise me. Look at Wardlow all in his green and black. Traitor. <laughs> it's that velocity, brother. Nice. Oh, shit. Nice clothesline taking down Stu Grayson, but I don't know if that, that member of the Dark Order has enough left in the tank to take out MJF once and for all. Ooh. Reversal. Reverse the reversal. There you go. But you gotta Ooh. capitalize on that on that reversal or else it means nothing. 
Grayson just a little too quick. Now some mounted punching. Oh, more mounted. There you go. Bust them open. That's what you got to do. You can't be tired yet. Come on now. He's, he's got to take a minute. Get some uh, air back. You get winded sometimes. Into the cor corner. There you go. Oh. Yes. Fly, baby. Here we go. Nice. Wow. Got him right where we want him. Early two. Yeah, there early go. two indeed. See, when you're a master of the craft, brother, you know... You, when you're a master you, of you, crap? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, when you're master of the A-show, as in SmackDown. Ha! Nice. See, the, the problem is your logic is flawed there, because A is the second letter in SmackDown, but it's the first letter in AEW, therefore... Oh, uh, CW is the A show, and you're the second show. It starts see, with S. See, see, your logic is flawed because the A is the third letter, sir. Oh well, still even worse. That means that Velocity is <laughs> before Smack. No, no. <laughs> so what's happening is oh, what, what had happened MJF. was. <laughs> oh look, it's MJF. He's dominating. <laughs> there you go. Work this in. Beautiful. Listen, I'm not the one that has their superstars drinking back, drinking backs backstage with uh with with the competition, <coughs> Dylan. Well, it's yeah, but I mean, keep in mind you're half of that show too. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm not shitting on blood. I'm just saying I'm not the one that is at uh, rate, r ratings war with Velocity where your superstars backstage <coughs> JF are having drinks with the competition <coughs> Dylan saying. quite possibly quite possibly but I mean I wouldn't really call it competition so far the ratings have shown that uh, AEW is still the top performer mm, year's not over true year's week after over. week Week after week, consistently more views. I think Velocity had one show where it got more views than me. One show, and all the rest got like 10% of what I got. But it ain't all about the views. It's about the action and seeing the villain get there. Is Stu Grayson taking this one away for the Dark Order? Damn. All right, so I forgot to ask it because we, we, we haven't really seen the Dark Order. Um... Uh, rest in peace, uh, Brody. Uh, but um, what could you say for the people that don't know about the Dark Order? Well, the Dark Order is a faction of ambitious young folk. Uh, as you can see, enjoy the color purple and black. Uh, mm -hmm. Very dedicated to the craft, trained together consistently and constantly. And having been led by Brody Lee, who was more or less the cult leader. Like, they're almost like a cult of warriors, so seeing them come out and and uh, oh my do God. what they oh yeah this is Abaddon you've never met before <laughs> uh, no I don't want to meet her Where are my drink? <laughs> but go on sorry but go on but go on uh, yeah so they they're just uh, pretty much a mystic society of wrestlers that have been around for eons and uh, now they have a place to shine they've made AEW their home and Brody Lee was uh, their exalted one uh, so there's right now as a placeholder his son has taken over that spot but yes. they may need a proxy at some point so we may see sometime in the next few weeks a battle for control of the faction until brody jr comes of age uh but up next here we see here abaddon a creature released from hell it looks like uh going against chris statlander and jade cargill uh jane and, and statlander have an ongoing feud already and uh, looking like uh, Abaddon's uh, trying to get in be in between this rivalry and perhaps squash it once and for all. Mm -hmm. Now, before we finish up the Brody Lee talk, if I was in the position that his son is in, where you know you have a career when you get out of high school, I'd be in that gym 24-7, pumping iron, getting better at the craft, so that way when, when, when you step foot in that arena, then... The world is yours. 
Well, I definitely think he should do that in part, but I don't think that he should just give up on studying in school and stuff. He should at least get through high school. You know, get through high Listen, school at we least. Are go- we are Gohan. We must take over. We are Gohan. <laughs> yeah. We must take over. Gohan's mom it made Gohan go to school and do homework. He wasn't just, like, the chosen one warrior. You know, he he studied. He grew. He learned. And even post uh, post Frieza Crisis and post uh, Cell Games, he mm-hmm. became a professor. He studied. He worked in a university around learning and smarts. So just goes to show you, war and wisdom can go hand in hand. And I think he yeah, should true. not shirk one for the other. You should do both. Yes. Yeah. yeah, true. I'm not saying, like, do, like, a 20-year, like, medical program if you don't want to be a doctor. That's understandable. Fine. You want to be a wrestler, but you should have something to fall back on. Heaven forbid you're in an accident. You can't perform anymore. You need right. something to carry you through, Something, some other interest uh, for you to fall back on. Because you, if you can find a job doing things you love, that's the best way to spend your life. And if you have yep. more than one thing that you love, you give yourself more opportunity to, in case that other thing doesn't work out. Right. All right, so what can you t- tell us about Avadon? There isn't really much to tell, man. The gates of hell opened, and she walked out and decided she wanted a, a, a contract, and Chris Jericho was too scared to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. She walked in and he was like, okay, fight. <laughs> yeah. He's like, all right, I get it. He's all like, right. I don't need to get it. Get out. <laughs> You're hired. Just, <laughs> hey. just go kill some people. Oh, got her up. Boom. There you Dropping go. Her snake face eyes. down. Snake eyes. Beautiful. Bam. Drilling her in the face. Whoop! Blam! Dropping her like a stack of books. Cargill and Statlander keeping their rivalry going strong on the outside. Abaddon back into the ring. Abaddon sneaking her way into some involvement with Jade. In the corner, beautiful. No, Jade lost uh, got- lost focus for a moment. Not very smart. No, not at all. Ooh, damn! <laughs> She's Lining him up. The fucking match. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, but all it takes all it takes is one mistake to be uh, pushed back to the bottom of the line. Ooh, that right hand took her off her feet. There you go, show that strength. Beautiful. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh my god. Brown sugar. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. We're not going into that. Get Bush off beans, the man. Bush baked beans. Sorry, it's not a sponsor. <laughs> oh. But it is a motto that sticks in my head. Do a five gallon bucket for a fucking sponsor. <laughs> Just a five gallon bucket of Bush's baked beans. Ooh, nice. Oh, now it's down to Abaddon and Jade Cargill in the ring. Take her oh, out. Taking her out, too. It's not a false count anywhere, though. Oh, oh. What's Jade going to do? Why? Oh, shit. Brother, it's like trying to catch a fucking falling missile. Yeah. Why would Had you do that? again saying this is awesome. So as you can see, two matches so far tonight. The first two oh, of AEW are already God. both yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get whatever. Hey, the crowd whatever. doesn't lie, my friend. Whatever. Jericho is putting money right under their seats, and they're finding it, and that's why they're saying this is awesome. I'm not saying know that how... he did. I'm not saying that he didn't. All I'm saying We're... is the results are there. We know how snaky Jericho is. Just look at the <laughs> championship trials. <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> he did exactly saying. what he needed to just do, and he followed the rules. Saying, he did not break any rules. Saying. 
We had the Montreal screw job. Now we're having the championship screw job. There was job. no screw Jericho. job. Yeah, it was a nice. No way, it. man. Gilbert uh, was an employee for a night. Oh you said challenge God. anyone. Yeah, he oh challenged my Gilbert. God. Oh, my God. We Listen, we told, yes, we told Jericho to challenge whoever you want. But a championship mind would be, oh, let's take on the next toughest opponent. That's That'd where you're wrong. Champion. No, the, the, oh, a championship God. mind goes, what's easy pickings? You know, oh, so that I can God. keep my strength for the finals. Oh, my God. He works smarter, not harder. Whatever. I got to Dude, he read The Art of War. It was yeah. like I told you before. You got to read. You got to learn. You got to be wise. That got to work together. That belt was coming cool. back to us. You gotta be that cool. belt was coming back to us. That belt was coming back to us. Mark my fucking yeah, What words. do you mean coming back? It never went to you. Yeah, I, it, <laughs> it was held in my home turf. It was held in my turf. It was supposed to go to me. It was supposed to, but it never did. So you can't see it's coming back to you. You can see it's coming to you for the first time. But that's still not going to happen. We'll fucking see. <laughs> That's that's the way this goes, man. Abaddon rolled out. Oh, Chris Ooh. almost getting one over on her. Nice. Nice leg drop. Beautiful. Oh, that's... I don't know. No, no. That wasn't yeah. enough to take wow. out the Amazon Warrior Jade Cargo. Wow, that was, that was actually pretty nice. Jesus. Yeah, that uh, that rivalry gets to move on to its next phase, and we have a new women competitor. At least we think it's a woman. Uh, it's one of them. Damn. That was impressive. Um, so let's focus on Abaddon. How did she look in her 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 debut match? Well, pretty strong, especially considering she was uh, put right into a triple threat with two superstars that are, number one, the largest ladies on the show, and two, yep. are already embroiled in their own kind of uh, inner turmoil. You know, they've had their own rivalry going on for uh, this past month. Correct. I think they faced Correct. each other at the pay-per-view, and then uh, they were both part of the Battle Royal last week. Damn. Impressive, impressive. Statlander, con congratulations, great. Cargo uh, looks strong in defeat, and uh, yeah, these 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 three women they they impressed me. Very nice. Yep. I do need to mention that starting next week, uh, Chris Statlander will have a slightly different look. Uh, but uh, they, we'll see that maybe next week. There will be a match with her in it where you can see that new look that uh, that I'm talking about. Uh, actually, I think we will, because I, I think what we're going to see next week, we're going to see uh, Chris Statlander go one-on-one -on -one with a former champion uh, who will also be sporting a bit of a new look, Hikaru Shida. Ooh. But up next, we have, uh, as our number three match, uh, Matt Hardy versus uh, J uh, uh, Chris, uh, Christian in a kind of grudge match continuation match of uh what we saw last uh, uh last month mm -hmm. with uh they went one-on-one -on -one, i think and it was a tlc match and matt hardy got the win oh. so this time uh christian has challenged him to a hardcore match and we will see who will come out on top I think how it's does a hardcore it feel match. how do you how, how does it feel to see cage fighting in a uh a ring that's not a wwe ring I think it's fantastic, and it's not the first time it's happened. You know, he needs Correct. to go he where he TMA. has the opportunity to shine. And uh, yep. unfortunately, WWE gave Edge another shot, but did not give Christian another shot. Yeah. But I mean, at the same time, I'm kind of glad for him, because now he gets the opportunity to actually wrestle and not just be a backstage guy that just does promos all the time. Right. Nice. That's right. Phenomenal. People cheering Christian. Christian. Smackdown. Smackdown. Nah, you keep you know, you gotta stop taking those mushrooms before you come <laughs> out on my show. Listen, listen, I found them. <laughs> it doesn't room. mean they're not poisonous, my friend. <laughs> well, I found them in Dar or Bee's room. Yeah, it's well, safe to eat. 
they are safe to eat in certain circumstances, but I don't think when you got to announce a show, it's a good idea to be doing hallucinogens. Oh. Just saying. Touche. They call them Speaking recreational of- drugs, not performance <laughs> enhancement. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But speaking of Darby, uh, we have really seen a lot from him as That's of true. recently. That's true. We have not seen much. I don't think we've seen him at all this month, really. I think uh, before. I think the pay per view might have been. Uh, he was on a match on the pay per view, wasn't he? I will go right now. I will check right now. We had. I think him uh, with Sting in his corner against somebody else with someone else in their corner. If it wasn't at the pay per view, it was maybe in the last month. I'm looking at it right now. But yeah, I mean, uh, we will be seeing uh, some of Darby Allen this month. There's already some uh, stuff in the works. We'll also be seeing one of uh, AEW's newest signees, uh, Andrade. Ooh! Yeah, Andrade will be in action this month on TNT. I'm not going to tell you when and where or against whom, but it is in the works. No, we haven't seen him at all, sir. No, we've seen Darby with Sting in his quarter at some point, I'm sure. I'm, I, I now have to look through my notes because now I have to know. <laughs> Don't judge me. I would check my notes. I just worry that it might open up in front of my uh, video and right, screw no, up fine. the image. <laughs> you are fine. Man, Christian really taking uh, Matt Hardy to the woodshed tonight. I guess he's been holding that grudge, and not just the grudge against Matt beating him, but also Matt's second team that he's managing, top to flight, uh, messing with his boys, the Varsity Blondes. Oh, but Matt able to fight out of it, come back, almost gets him with a cutter. Oh, Christian going for the unprettier. Bing! Nice. Hit it. Beautiful. One, two, three. And Matt Hardy put away. Christian proving once again Canadian dominance. Sir, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Not seeing the Canadian dominance? It's right in front of you. Oh, my God. I don't want to die. (laughs) No, no. Uh, Darby, I... I, I I vaguely remember that match might be happening, but, sir, I don't see it in my notes. We'll talk about it tomorrow night, and we'll we'll, 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 we'll get it figured out. But uh, Christian, fucking looking strong, brother. Damn, beautiful. Very nice, very nice. Ah, shit! Here we go! Yep, we're going to have Serena Deeb and Britt Baker in a ladder match for that women's AEW championship. Oh, God. Deeb, this will be her first uh, defense, correct? Correct. This will be uh, Deeb's first actual defense. She won it from Britt uh, previously. This is Britt's one chance rematch clause. If she loses, she goes to the back of the line, and Anna J will be uh, the next to challenge for that title. Oh, shit. Come on, Deeb. Don't be a one hit wonder. Don't be a filler champion. (sighs) I'm not nervous. Oh, there's no reason to be nervous? No, no, there is no reason. I'm not nervous. There we go. Yes! Nice Nice. fireman's carry right away. Nice, nice. I do not have a favorite in this match, I swear. Yeah, I'd be happy with either myself. Yep, yep, totally. Come on, dude. No, come on. Reverse. Yes, nice. Nice, Deeb. The reversals. Beautiful. Yes. Dropping her on the rope, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, neck breaker. Beautiful. Oh, fuck. Baker with a nice reversal. 
Yep, tossing deep to the corner. Oh, Eve, deep, yes. able to there reverse go. it, going for that avalanche. avalanche. What do we got? Suplex? Arm drag. Nope. Just Beautiful. an arm drag from the top rope to the center of the canvas. Beautiful. Britt Baker doesn't know what hit her. I'll tell you what hit her. A switch <laughs> fireman's carry is what fucking hit her. Indeed. Fireman's carry. Yes. Work the arm. Snip it. There you go. Beautiful. Fuck. Nice. Ooh, nice. Nice. Baker, nice. Come on. Fuck! Work in the back, shit. That's what you gotta do, man. You you work on the strengths, and the way that she's able to toss her around means that she's got a strong back to be able to support extra weight. Yep. Come on. There you go. Rebound! Nice! Nice! Nice. Get the fuck up. Don't rush it. Shit. Get out. Get out. Get out. Ah, shit. Come on. Bigger looking good, though. Yeah, looking real strong. Oh, nice. Oh, thank God. Yes, give her one of your own. Yes. Fuck! Hit a better kick, team. Yeah, give her one of your own. Beautiful. There you go, working her on the ropes. Yep. There you go. Yep. Yes! Nice cutter. Beautiful. Cutter? I hardly know her. Fuck. As a dad, I protest. <laughs> oh, and fuck will not be on my mer my merchandise shirt. By the way, I do tend to say that a lot, but it will not be on the merchandise. No, no, that's fine. That we, as always, phenomenal. That being said, peace. That's the perfect <laughs> slogan for your shirt. <laughs> Twenty bucks at the front stand. Well, you can get Fine. two for twenty-five dollars online. Ooh, and some of the bubbly. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little like bit a of bubbly. Like a shot glass worth, but you got to sip it. You just a little bit, man. That's, that's how you make that shit last. Exactly. You got to respect the god that made it. Exactly. Ooh, deep knocking uh, the shit out of Britt Baker. Yes. Come on, come on. You got three off. You got three off. You got three off. No, two. Sorry. You got two. Come on. Let's get three. Th okay. Let's get four. Let's get five. Come on. Come Ooh. on. Five. Not quite able to get it. Eve, what are you doing? Five. There you go. Britt yeah. taking her sweet ass come time. Three get more. up, Britt. Three more. Come on. Three more. Come on. Two, Only two more. left. Come on. Come on. Able to get that one, one more, but no, Britt. No, no, no. Knock her oh. off. Knock her off. Knock her off. Knock her off. Britt. Yes. Knock this her is off. your last Knock chance, Britt. Knock her off. Come on. This is yours. And this one's Fuck over. It. There's Fuck no it. way Britt Give can it. recover in time. Woo. Yes. I was not rooting for Deeb. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> you sound awfully happy that she won, though. Woo. No filler champion. On AEW, no nope. filler fucking And it's champion. official that at the pay-per-view, we're going to be seeing Anna J against yes. Serena Deeb for that title. Yes. Woo. Here is your winner. And still. Still, Serena bitches. Deeb. Yes. Serena Deeb. Beautiful. Also, Woo. like, just to note, sporting a different outfit this week went with a, her pink gear instead of her black gear. I love it.
All right, we can calm down now. We can calm yep. down now. Yeah, that's going to bring us up to our uh, our main event tonight. That it seems that uh, the cameraman is uh, getting ready to prepare for us. It is uh, the Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara Los Sex Gods yeah. one on one or tag team with the Varsity Blondes who won their match against Tom Flight by hook or by crook last week. So uh, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see the young upstarts trying to topple the gods. They each also have uh, have someone in their corner, Jake Hager, joining uh, Team Inner Circle, and Chris uh, Christian, of course, Christian Cage, the mentor, uh, the manager, the best pal, guiding officer of the Varsity Blondes on their journey uh, through the AEW landscape so far. Gonna back his boys in this contest of uh, of titans. You know, if anybody could put away the sex gods, the inner circle. It I is, agree. It is Chris. If anyone can do that, it's Christian. So with Christian being in their corner, uh, uh, blondes could probably do it here tonight. Hundred percent agree. I think if there's any team that could take them down, that the blondes have the highest p- probability just of the amount of matches that they've won the only time they lost was against top flight and they were able to overcome that one finally and christian starting things up with uh griff garrison that's griff garrison courtesy of josh <laughs> shit no yes there you go okay <laughs> I don't know who the fucking root for here. Well, man, like I, it's a tough call. There's a Canadian on both sides, but there's only one Canadian in this match, so I'm gonna have to throw my hat with Le Champion and current tag team champions Le Sex Gods and current uh, uh, quad champion as well. That's true, man. Omni Brand. He's the Omni Brand Um, champion. Yep. For now, give it a year. The end of the year, he's losing it. That's what you think, man. Chris Chris Jericho has a whole year to figure out how he's going to hold on to that belt. Listen, listen. Yeah, you ever read Sun Tzu? (laughs) Chris Jericho has. (laughs) He could be the champion all year, but he has to be champion going into the pay-per-view. And he will be. Oh, he will be. Oh, we'll see. He he has to be the established champion. We know it's not going to be fucking Seth Rollins! You could be fucking blind and you would see. <laughs> My good God. It could be pitch black night and he would shine and you would have no choice but to see him, Le yes. Champion. We will fucking see. If I have anything to do with it, he will not be going into that pay-per-view. He will we'll be. Oh, will, we'll he be. will be. We'll fucking see. That being said, it's Jameson time. Cheers to your health. Yes, sir. Oh, I bought myself a new shot glass. It's a two ounce shot glass. Oh, yeah. That's more than a mouthful. Ha. Oh. Get him. Fuck. Yeah, there you go. There you Boom. Go. Huge nice. souffle on the champion of the day. Mm-hmm. Brian Pillman holding no nothing back. Going toe to toe with Jericho. Nice, beautiful. It's Jericho no, playing keep, possum. Keep it fresh, tagging your partner. This ain't a fucking Mentos commercial. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How it feels to chew pipe gum. Yeah, that too. Those were good commercials. Though. Mm-hmm. Although, there like, I, I, I was tempted to write them back one time in summer when I got their ice thing, and I'm like, it's still too fucking hot, man. I don't feel like that guy. I want my money back. Right? False advertising. Sammy Guevara. Oh coming in the young lion hungry for a fight so hungry in fact he might even let brian pillman go for that hot tag nope bam 
right on Brian Pillman's back, going for another. Keeping that offense strong. That's nice splash. Only a two count, though. Brian Pillman not having yet taken enough damage for it to be worth it. No. Boom! Getting out of that with a head top of the head to the jaw. Taking Pillman to the ropes. Kick to the oh. face. He falls over. He's flying! Boom! Oh, Hurricane no. Rana through the ropes on the outside. Taking nice. him to the floor. And a Ooh, splash. splash. They're going to work their way up the st <laughs> the ramp. Nice. Keep in mind, there are no count outs in AEW. Except on SmackDown. I said in, in AEW. <laughs> and I said uh, except on SmackDown. Yeah, but AEW is not on SmackDown, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, but the countout is. Yeah, I said there's no countouts in AEW. I didn't say in professional wrestling. And I said except for on SmackDown, there are countouts. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my lord. Why won't you accept me? Why because it's not me? except. All other professional wrestling has countouts. AEW is the only one. Nah, so you uh, wouldn't say except SmackDown. You said uh, logistics schematics. It's like I'm going. This is why I'm unique, and you're like, but I'm like everybody else. Yes, I know. This is why I'm unique, <laughs> but I'm like everybody else. That's what I'm saying, sir. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh. Welcome to AEW, <laughs> where we're not Smack. Where we're where we're not SmackDown. That's right. We're the A show. <laughs> no, whatever. You walked into it, my friend. I can't help whatever. it. Whatever. You gotta watch where your feet go. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice gator roll. Yeah. Still sticking to the outside. Makes you question if maybe that no count out rule <laughs> makes any sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just so you know, I looked back into it and Darby Allen did have a match in January against Cody Rhodes. Against Cody Rhodes. Was it that uh, week one, one of one January? Week. And that was after Shinsuke was released, correct? Uh, no, Shinsuke made it to March. Okay, that's why, because this is a new notebook. Ah, wow. that would make sense. So, yeah, yeah, January. Yeah, yeah. So the year that, uh, or the the month that we did our Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah, so this is a new no-look, yeah. It's, yeah, yep. so Darby fought there, and he was in the Men's Royal Rumble. Yes. So he didn't have... So he didn't have Sting in his corner recently. Not recently, but he might have been in his corner in January when he went against Cody. I can't remember. I'd have to look at the tapes. Okay. And I don't feel like doing that right now. <laughs> no, no, we'll get to it. We'll, we'll, we'll probably we'll forget by next tomorrow. week. Don't worry, folks. This is this is all professional. Yeah, uh, exactly. That's it. If it didn't work tonight, don't worry. We won't mention it again. <laughs> if you comment or subscribe or like about it, <laughs> then maybe we'll then bring it up. Just, yeah, maybe. Another gator roll on the outside. How long have we Beautiful. been outside? Oh, Twenty well, minutes. Longer than a time count. <laughs> Definitely longer than 10 count. It's still the same too, too. Hey, eh? we didn't switch. Or, did we even go back in the ring? I don't know. I was too busy talking to you and looking yeah, at those I, stats. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> oh. Pillman's knee it must be killing him at this point. Sammy dropping it on his face. 
Bam! Busting him open. Oh. Pillman, a big chop. Oh, I... suplex. Oh, Sammy whiffing it hard. And giving Pillman the opportunity to work that shoulder. Ay, caramba. Ay, dos mio. <laughs> Boom. Takes Pillman to the ground. We're going to get back into that ring, it looks like. All right, finally. And Pillman getting to his feet. It looks like Chris Jericho was tagged in. Jericho versus Pillman in the ring. God damn it, Pillman, stay in the ring. <laughs> Ooh, Pillman taking Jericho down a couple pegs. God, working his arm. I don't know, man. Do you think the Varsity Blondes might have the opportunity to overturn the championship? I mean... Uh, it seems like they've been neck and neck this whole entire match, in my opinion. Oh, Chris Jericho uh, smartly avoiding that heart tag, uh, hot tag. Bam! Huge DDT. I mean, do you even think so? I think I think it's possible, although, ooh, Chris Jericho with that lion salt, maybe looking to put him away right here. Maybe Pillman took enough damage on the outside. Garrison unable yep. to make the save. Chris Jericho wins it for Les Sex Gods and uh, Varsity Blondes, while not technically going back down to the bottom of the barrel, are uh, no longer going to challenge for the championship. They will be held as the bar, though, so there will be a couple tag team matches happening over the next couple of weeks to see who will challenge the Varsity Blondes for that number one contendership, and if uh, if whatever team beats Varsity Blondes will become number one uh, contender, and if Varsity Blondes happen to beat whoever challenges them, they'll get another shot. Awesome. So, with that being said, as always, I am the Jamsa, and with me is Brock Redhead. Phenomenal. Thank you yes, very sir. much for watching, everybody, and we hope to see you again uh, tomorrow night on SmackDown, The B Show. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace.